Hi guys, Nick here from technemlogic.com and today I'm gonna show you some of the tips and tricks which I found very useful while using Learn TV Learn S. Before the video gets started, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red icon down below which will definitely going to help my YouTube channel to grow. So, let's get started. Finally, the camera shortcut. On the lock screen, you can just open the camera by sliding upwards from the right corner even you don't need to open the lock for it. But if you want to see the captured images, you need to open the lock by using the fingerprint or by typing the password. Secondly, if you want to unlock the device by putting the password and not by using the fingerprint, just swipe at the lock screen from any side whether from right, left or even middle. The password input area will be available only in that area as you guys can see in the video, which is just great for one-handed use. Thirdly, you can pull down the notification drawer just easily by swiping downwards on the home screen. It is not necessary that you need to take the finger upwards and swipe down. The swipe will work in middle. Also, as you guys can see, by clicking on the reset nap key, you can even manually set different toggle switches by adding or removing it easily. You can even easily set the particular order in which you want to see them, like different shortcut keys like calculator, camera, etc. And even in this, you can lock a particular app so that whenever you clear the RAM of the device, that particular app will run in the background in any way, like WhatsApp, Facebook, etc. So that you get the notification even if the phone is locked. Fourth, you can add any of the remote, whichever you want to control using the phone and the video I have already uploaded and the link is given in the description down below. Fifth, as there is no app drawer in EUI, so to bifurcate different application, you can easily create a folder and add them in it. Like just drag and drop another app on it. It will automatically create a folder and you can just rename it easily in any name in which you want to see them. Six, taking screenshot in different way. Like this is a page where I want to take a screenshot. The first way is just press the volume down button and power lock key at the same time it will take the screenshot and you will get a notification in the notification center from where you can view the screenshot and share it using different methods. The second way to take screenshot is that just firstly open the page of which you want to take the screenshot and just click the recent app key and at the top you will see a icon of scissor. Just click on it and the screenshot of that page will be taken. Seventh, you can change the screen color mode which is mostly required to do this simply go to setting then to display and there you can find the option color mode you can select any of it according to your usability you can even change the scale in standard and zoom whatever you like Eighth, you can add the widget also on the screen just by long tapping the screen and you will get the different option just click on widgets and add whatever you want I am just adding the clock over here. This shortcut will also work by pressing long at the recent app key which is great. In the same way when you want to change the theme, there are different default themes which are available and different wallpaper also which you can change. But if you want to change the lock screen wallpaper, you need to go to setting, set wallpaper, select any of the wallpaper you want and click on set as. There it will ask whether to change only lock screen wallpaper or only home screen wallpaper and both so change accordingly whatever you like ninth you can set the notification priority accordingly just by going in the setting then in notification management and you can set the priorities of different apps as of your use which we can also find in ios devices tenth you can even set the permissions by going into setting app permissions and set which app can use what all the information like when I go in phones, so all these apps which you are seeing is reading my phone directory. After that, when we come to messages, these two apps are reading my messages and from here, I can set the permission of each app whether to give them authorization or not. This is a great feature and is found in iOS devices. And like Windows, there is also a feature of auto launch application. Here, we can auto launch app on the phone like we can set a whatsapp on auto launch so that on every boot whatsapp runs automatically in background and you can even add the phone on auto on off according to the time set by you so guys there are some of the tricks which i find in few weeks of use so that's it for this video guys 
Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this stuff, be sure to hit the like, comment and subscribe button and do follow me on Twitter and make sure to check out my other YouTube videos. So see you guys in my next video. Till then, see ya. Hi guys, Nick here from technemlogic.com and today we're gonna let you show how to configure the IL Blaster on your LUT EV1s with any of the device which can be connected.